Welcome back everybody to the Northeast Ohio Diecast and Treasures channel. Today I have an awesome video. As usual, we're going to go over a whole bunch of pullback cars I have and some awesome model cars. First we'll start with these three of my favorite models. Now these three models were gifted to me by my awesome uncle on my dad's side. He went ahead and built these and painted them himself. I believe these two were painted, at least this one I know of. So we'll go ahead and start with this one. I believe this is a Ford Ranchero. You can take off the bed cover there. Looks like there's Jack in the back. And there is an opening hood. Try to be easy as possible. Hopefully I didn't just snap the latch there. I think it just pops off. Awesome detail on the engine. Very cool looking paint job as well. Yeah, thankfully that snaps right back on. Great looking rims. I love the color combination. All the way around a very cool looking vehicle. Let's move that one off to the side. And the next one, unfortunately with a scuff on the hood. This is a newer Corvette. You go ahead and remove that hood. Great looking engine in there. Nice blue color. Love the interior. They're a little dusty, so I have my cloth bandana here to kind of clean them up. So really do like that one. Nice convertible. Here's what the back end looks like. Very cool model cars. Moving on to the next one. And the next one we have here is probably my favorite. The split window Corvette. Great looking engine in there. And you can put the hood down and the blower and everything sticks right out on top of the hood. It's not on there 100% but you get the idea. Awesome looking flame job. Nice split window. A great great model love this one like the rims on there as well flames like I mentioned an awesome opening hood see if we can see inside that engine a little better a lot of details in there very very nice and now moving on from the model cars we have some awesome awesome pullbacks this one happens to be a model car so it is our last one it's a Ferrari. I forget which Ferrari this is. It's in pretty worn shape. I've had this one for quite a long time. Missing the glass out of the hood. I believe that got cracked at one point. Just went ahead and removed it. Awesome opening doors. Let's see if we can look on the bottom here and find out what type this is. A Ferrari 288 GTO on 124 scale. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. Very, very nice model. I love the detail. Look at that. You can even see like transmission and everything hanging out. Moving wheels. Very nice Ferrari model. I said I've had this one for quite a while now. Not in the best of shape, but still very cool. Missing a hubcap on this side. Looks like a barn find of some sort almost. Maybe just a neglected supercar. Moving on to another one. This one's in pretty good shape. I've only had this one for a little while. I think I found this at a flea market or Goodwill or something like that. Chevy Avalanche with the opening doors and a very nice blue looking color. Suits the truck very well. See we got some detail on the inside there, the steering wheel and looks to be a shifter there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a drink in the cup holder. Just a stock vehicle but looks very nice. I believe this one is on the 124 scale also. But this is a 2002 Avalanche. Very nice. Very nice model indeed. Let's check out the front. Nice Chevy emblem. And on the back, Chevrolet written across. Very nice. And we'll move on to another cool one here. This one is a PT Cruiser. Not one of my favorite vehicles in the real world, but pretty cool model. I believe that rear hatch opens too, but I'm not going to try to pick it off there. To avoid some micro chipping. One of my biggest pet peeves. Very cool looking model though. And this one uh, is not a pullback. So that is another model. I was incorrect. I've got six regular model cars here. And I believe the rest are pullbacks. This last one that I'm going to show you here. I think this is also. Oh no this one is a pullback. I was able to acquire this one in a lot that I bought. Big old die cast lot. 
This is a very, very nice example of an old Mustang. I'm not sure what year this is, 60 something. Go ahead and close the doors up. Let's look at it right there. It is from the year 1999. It is a 66 Shelby GT350. Made in China. Speedy power. Very cool looking. Like I had mentioned, this one is a pullback. Very nice looking. That one was even wrapped up in some nice protective stuff, which is most likely what I'm going to do with it whenever I decide to move. Moving on to the next car. And the next car is a nice newer Mustang. Opening doors again. This one's on a little bit of a smaller scale. Very nice pullback car. Oh, maybe not. We have another model. And this one is a 2015 Mustang. Very nice opening door car again. This one is on a lot smaller scale as you can see compared to that Avalanche. Seems to be kind of on the same scale as the PT Cruiser. Very cool. Let's see what else we have down here. And another awesome car on the smaller scale. Have a nice Audi. This might be an R8. I'm not sure which one this is. Yes, an Audi R8 on 136 scale. Pretty cool. Love how it looks. The only downside about this is it does have either a scratch or a crack right there. I'm not sure which one that is. Don't really want to find out either to avoid any further damage. But that is a very nice looking car there. I have a little bit of microchipping going on there. I think I found this at a Goodwill again or something like that. And for our last cars, here they come. Pulling up three deep in the squad. We have the Dodge Viper. Awesome cars here. All cruising together. Maybe heading to a show or just hanging out, cruising around the town. Let's get all these doors open and take a look at them. Now I did happen to come across all these at the same time, if I remember correctly. Found these at a Goodwill. It was most likely someone's collection. This one, unfortunately, is missing the wing off the back. You can see the little holes there where it would have fit in. But we'll start down here with a number three. White and red flame combination. That looks very nice. Viper logo is kind of worn. These are a little bit older, I'm assuming. And uh, Chrysler Group 2012 is the trademark there. 136 scale again. Lovely looking. This one's probably my favorite with the orange and black stripes. Pretty much all the way complete. Just some scratches here and there. Awesome looking grayish white interior. This has the same licensing as everything as the other one, and everything as the other one. And down to the last one, possibly my favorite, I'm not sure, it's either between this one or this one. A nice dark blue color. Love how that one looks. And this one is a 2013 SRT Viper, Chrysler Group yet again. Very cool licensed cars there. And that's just a pretty good amount of the cars that I have of this sort. I'm going to have to go ahead and dig through some more and find some more. But I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Hope everybody's doing good. Staying safe. Finding the things that make you happy out there. And as always, tune in for the next one.